What's up dudes and dudettes, my name's Seth and we are back again for another Firefall. Hello everyone, look how beefy I am, look how buff I am, I'm ready to kick butt! Let's do this! First person mode or third person? Third person, obviously. I want to be able to see my majestic, beautiful wings. Look at that guy attempting to rock it. Look, we can beat him! He's so slow at his job. What are you doing, man? Oh, he looks beautiful, though. Okay, he made up for it by looking really, really cool. Hi, how you doing? I hope you're all doing fantastic today. I really, really do. Blah, 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 blah. You ended up gaining a bunch of garbage. Something about a vehicle. I already have my vehicle slot set up, thank you very much. I have it! No, I have it! No, 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 okay, they want us to do it again, even though we just did it. Blah, we leveled up! Telling us about the represent, reputation vendors and stuff like that. Ultimate ability, the HKM. Ultimate ability is in your loadout as well. Did we actually just unlock that? That would be nice. Everything is Shadow is the next mission that I guess we're going to end up doing today. Is this our ultimate ability? Oh no, here it is. Okay, so what's this guy's ultimate? Shockwave. This ability slows, slowly gains charge while you are in combat. When your ultimate ability charge reaches 100. Oh, it's just saying how we get to use our ultimate ability. Okay, sure. Unleashes a massive burst of energy, dealing extreme damage to all enemies in a line. So just in front of us, like a Kamehameha? That would be absolutely beautiful. Let's see what these little quest rewards are. What is this? What did we end up getting? Your first vehicle! Okay, so scrap what I was saying in the last episode about going to that renter vendor dude, because apparently we would have just got our vehicle anyway. Here's our voucher, though, and an Accord Reactor. I don't know what that is. Is this game sponsored by Accord? <laughs> what is this? What is this garbage? I don't care. You can send mail to people. It's great. Seriously, that'll be hilarious. <laughs> what? Reactor thing. We got in our back piece. We gotta, we gotta sell all this stuff. You know what we're gonna do instead? We're gonna actually scrap it. I don't know if this is what you're supposed to do with your junk, but it's what I've been doing, is I turn it into salvage, and then I just sell that on the market instead. Checking a little bit of settings with my mouse, because it's messing up. Meet the Lieutenant Diaper Man. Okay, let's go there in style. Yeah! Drive through town! Go! Do it! Yes! <laughs> Going up the stairs. Hey, that punk kid's in town again. He's really messing with things. Woo! Oh, excuse me. Can I honk? No, there's no horn. Get out of the way. <laughs> this is beautiful. I like it. Ah! Who's attacking us? Who's shooting me? Run! I think it's another player. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I don't think he was actually damaging us, though. Whoa! The driving of these vehicles operates very, very well. Maha! Uh, I just gotta say, like, the fact that we were actually able to get around so easily, and that's the thing, too, we could easily jetpack over all of this stuff, which is very, very neat. Oh, Now, of course, we're getting a little bit of frame rate issues in here, because... What? Is that the guy? New ability! Okay. What? Oh! What is this? Overcharge your battle frame's offensive system, causing your signature weapons to generate no heat. They generate heat, increasing your rate of fire and granting unlimited ammunition for a small duration. Okay. So we could bring on the pain a little bit more. Hey, what are you doing in that hat? Give me that hat. Why is our character's hair all messed up? Get out of the way, you freaks. <gasps> Gliding spot. Yeah! Whoa! <laughs> Why was he doing so many flips? Oh, this world's beautiful. Duh, I don't want to do that, but... <gasps> we can fight. Oh, I see. That's where it overheats. We can fight while we're in midair. That's awesome, dude. What is that straight down from us? I kind of am interested to check it out. That's okay. We don't need to. Let's just fly. Beautiful. Yes. Welcome to the majestic seashell rock island thing. <laughs> Wherever we are. Look at that water, too. It's gorgeous. This game. This game. Hello? Whee! I'm gonna get to the other side, and there's nothing you can do to stop me. Vehicle. V for vehicle. I love that you can spawn your mount anywhere you want. 
And this game is actually, like, this, despite the fact that I'm sure it's very pay to win with, like, experience boosters and stuff like that, it still is very, very, like, at least for the start of the game. And honestly, I don't even care about double experience anyway. I don't care if we're slow grinding and stuff. I just have fun playing it. Let's go in! Who's in here? Who's gonna get wrecked? Yes! <laughs> oh, enter mission! Yes, please! Apparently our name is 3-5? That guy's a weirdo. What is this? Certain abilities and features are disabled upon entering a mission because now we're in our own instance where we could be with other people and stuff like that. Personal vehicles and gliders will be deactivated as long as the mission itself doesn't actually let you use it. Like some missions, I guess, can use it a little bit later. And the main map function is also closed as well. So we can't actually press M to open up the map, which is fine by me. Oh, let's see if we ended up gaining any perks. We're level 10 now, right? Perks. Okay, what do we got here? Increased base ammo capacity, uh, bonus health, increases reload speed, which would be nice on a heavy guy, but not necessarily us. 2% damage increase, which is nice. Movement speed by 0.25, <laughs> and uh, increases jump height by 3 meters. Ooh. I kind of like that, but I guess in this case, we should probably focus on more damage right now. Actually, you know what? Since we would actually have to lock that in for 24 hours, we're not going to do that right now. But, mm -hmm, give me a little bit of a reward. Okay. Okay. I just learned the hard way that this is brutal because I think we actually had this chest since the start of the episode. And uh, only after we claimed it did the counter for the next one start counting down. So, keep that in mind, everybody. Keep that in a mind. What's this? Oh, this is our level. What did we gain for this level? The overcharge ability, as well as an ability slot. Yes? I wonder if there's a quick and easy way to clear all these out without doing it all in one. What? Perks? Ability? We got a new ability? Oh, never mind. That's just our ultimate ability. Okay, whatever. Anyways, hello, dude. I should have been talking to you the whole time, you freak, instead of, uh, <laughs> Oh great, I, I I did this mission off camera everybody and it's it's actually really really cool I like the variation that it has. I hope all the missions are actually this varied But uh, waiting for this idiot to open the doors is a little bit frustrating. I hope I hope that see you later sucker I hope that they end up letting us go solo a little bit in some of the later areas. Hello Let's use our number three which apparently lets us use our oh. That's OP, because we could spam it like crazy. Oh, I see. This gun doesn't even have ammo. I see. We don't even reload this gun. It just overheats. Okay. That's sick, man. I didn't know that. That's that's a huge difference between the way that this guy plays and the big heavy guy that I ended up playing as a test character off camera. I called him Jub Jub Jr. My username Sykes plays, by the way, if you're all wondering. It's just in the top left-hand corner of the screen shows your username, so thankfully I don't have to edit in anything that says our username. That was not as beautiful as I thought it would be, but at least we ended up getting some loot just like a Zelda pot. Hello? A dead guy. This reminds me of, like, all those Batman Arkham games. How could this guy die by small arms fire? He's a ninja. Ninjas don't die. <gasps> this is like Metal Gear. This is like when the ninja first showed up. You know what I'm talking about? Get over here. Get over here. Get over here, I'll meteor your face. I'll get you. <laughs> this music's kinda cool too. Reminds me of Turok. I get so nostalgic playing this game I've never played before because it's just got like so many familiar undertones of other games that I ended up growing up with. So I, I just gotta say, this game's absolutely awesome. I'm loving it and I hope all of you are as into it as I am. Oh, look at the mist! These doors look like Warframe. You all know Warframe because everybody's been requesting me to play that game. I will eventually, but shh, we're playing Firefall right now. Let me through the doorway a little bit faster, please. Ha ha! Whoa! That's right, stealth enemies in this area. This is a beautiful room. I don't care. I don't care if you guys kill me. I'm getting screenshots because this is a beautiful room. Woo! Look at these. Look at the lighting on these things. It's great. Ha ha! If we turn on the water service, we can get these guys out of their cloak. This reminds me of fear. 
Destroy the console. Yeah, okay. Turn on the sprinklers. Now it's getting all misty in here. That's cool that it actually has like a visual change. And now, get over here, you. Where's your friends? There they are. I will destroy them with my meteoric pound. Ha! <laughs> Who's around here? What are you talking about? Ah! 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 This music is like so evil and intense. Who is this? Who's around here? Watch this. Ha! Ah! Okay, that didn't really work. That guy's sniper is beautiful though. Who's around there? Oh, do you think you are? Where are you hiding? Where are you hiding? Are we actually hurting him? Let's see if we can do this. Oh, no! Okay, that ended up working! Cool! Oh! Whoop! Ran into a technical hiccup there. I always gotta be careful with those because my recording software does not take kindly to frame rate hiccups. I don't know what it was loading, an event? Hello? Oh, shut up! Let me skip! Let me skip! Collect project data is missing from the server. I don't care that there's stuff missing from the server. Let me skip. Okay, so spots like that, I'm gonna skip from now on. Cause yak 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 yak, they sure did not stop talking. And you know what? While we're at it, where's my audio options? Let's actually turn off voiceover volume. Shut up! I don't want to hear you guys anymore. I can read the subtitles if I need to, and I don't think this game is going to be particularly complex with the, uh, you know, the layout of where we're actually supposed to go. It's probably going to just tell us, like, straight and forward, Oh, you gotta go over here and do this stuff, buy me some milk! Hello? Hum. Give me the jewels! What's happening? Give me this as well. No, we can't grab those stations, but we can grab the ammo. Yes! I will destroy the computer! Never mind, we'll press the buttons on it first. Then destroy the computer! I think I went off of it just in time. No, just destroy it now. Ha! Get out of here, you! So they're gonna actually show us right here. I was kinda waiting for this. Where now they're gonna give us our uh, ultimate ability, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Give me the ultimates. Give me my Kamehameha. Give me that, yes! An instant cooldown spot so we can just use our ability and blast them away. I'm excited to see what we're gonna be able to do. I haven't even used this ability yet. And uh, I'm, I'm excited to see what happens. Hello? Where are things? Yes? Come and get me? If you think you can? Yeah! Oh. <laughs> That wasn't as epic as I thought it would be. Ultimate! Yeah! That's really not as epic as I thought it would be. It's cool, but it should be a stream. Not just some weird pulse. I guess it's okay. I still kind of like it, but I really thought it was going to be like an energy beam or something. I'm too in the habit of reloading with this gun, even though we don't really need to. I'm going to grab that again because I don't care. Oh, we got to wait for General Dummy to uh, come over here and open this door for us, I think, right? Because otherwise they want to just keep talking. Look at that water. Look at that. That's like Slime Rancher. That's beautiful, isn't it? My goodness gracious. <gasps> that thing's a little bit 3D. It's a 3D orb. Okay, he opened the door for us. Let's get out of here. Where are you? Hello, dude. Get out of my way. Open this door for me. Ah, we leveled up for doing nothing. And he's like, hey, what gives? Why'd you level up? Ah, uh, you know, brah, I always like to level up in the morning. Well, that's kind of weird, but uh, okay, I'm going to hold my ear. My ear kind of hurts. I'm deaf in this ear when you leveled up. What? What'd you just call me? I didn't call you anything, man. Oh, okay. I totally misunderstood what you were saying. Uh, what? I can't really hear you. My ear's gone deaf. I'm holding on to my right ear now. Oh, yeah. We're supposed to be skipping all this. Of course, if there ever ends up being something that's, like, particularly interesting in one of those cutscenes, I will leave it in because I am recording them even though I'm still cutting them out. So what it's saying right now is we've actually progressed far enough in the game that we have equipment durability. And if it reaches zero, it will no longer function properly. So repair your gear at battle frame garages before they break because you don't want them to break in the middle of a battle or something. So they're showing us right here. We just go and grab this thing. 
And as we do, system damage, system damage, repair, repair. Yeah, you know what? I'll repair in a minute because I can actually swap some of this gear out and I bet you anything. Oh, that's it already. Repair! Yes, let's see. So it's actually telling us right now that it's gonna cost one crystal for some of these stuff. Our overcharge ability, which we've been using, is uh, 62 gems, which I, I don't think things break particularly fast. I think that's just because this is introducing our first repair all thing. And you can actually uncheck stuff you don't want to repair, and etc, etc. But... It's also a smart system where it's going to repair everything that we have equipped and then not a repair anything in our inventory unless we want to actually repair it. And it's going to cost us 260. Why did you get out of there? I wasn't done. Stop that. Let's just press accept and do it. There we go. So now we actually have two perk slots. Maha, they're trying to teach us about all the stuff we already did. I'm just going to grab this and then I'm going to take it off. Yes, I know. Fast hands, reload speed. That's a useless ability for the weapon we're using. We're gonna get this damage augment. And you know what? I actually like the idea that we would be able to jump more. The health, I'm sure, is probably better, and increased ammo capacity might be better, but it doesn't seem like we're ready to have ammo anytime soon. So I'm gonna actually take the jump perk just so we can see. And uh, now, as you saw right there, we actually have 24 hours. Uh, I think I explained this earlier, or at least in the last episode, we have 24 hours before we can change our abilities. So, uh, yeah, unless you end up paying cash shop stuff. Wow, we got moon shoes! It's like Mega Man Legends! That's beautiful! Hey, everybody! I got moon shoes! <laughs> That's so sick, man! Let's get a screenshot of this. Hello, beautifulness. Get that garbage off the top of my screen. I wish I could turn them off. Shut up! <laughs> oh, we got some gear and stuff to check out as well. What did we get for our rewards? Uh, we are going to call it for today, though, dudes and dudettes, because this is going to end up being the episode. Uh, we ended up getting... I don't care what that says. We ended up getting one of those... What was it? In our inventory. Where is one of those chests? Is this the secure module locker? Opening secure module locker will grant you the following. Experience points uh, between... 1,000 and 2.5k Christite, which is our money, crystals. Uh, modules, which can be slotted in your weapons and abilities. Okay, so that must be like gem augments that you can put to put special abilities into your uh, weapons and stuff, which is kind of cool. Uh, requires a security key, which may be purchased from the Red Bean Store or found as mission rewards. And what is this crafting component? Okay, that's just that other thing that we got. Account items. Oh, I see. Okay, do we have another one of these? You are about to salvage one of these things. No, I don't want to salvage it. I want to put it on my hotbar. Five. To open the locker, you gotta have a key. So we don't have a key. Okay, cool, whatever. That guy's beautiful. This town is amazing. So anyway, that's gonna be it for today's episode, everybody. So I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you've been enjoying this series as much as I've been enjoying playing it. Add me up and let's go adventuring together. Either way, Thank you so much for watching. I very much would appreciate it. If you would, do click the like button for me, share your favorite, and subscribe to join Team Pixel Sign. Stay epic, everybody. Believe.